So today's question comes from Harold, but the truth is the question has come from a lot of people. Thank you, Harold, for being the spokesperson. But it's a universal question. The question is, how can I keep from hating my job? This is something that, that a lot of people wrestle with. I mean, we talk over and over again about the idea that the world is a better place when the people in it are following their passion, that are they're doing want to instead of have to. And it's really a beautiful thing and it's a grand vision for how the world ought to work. And we all have those moments when we're in touch with the passion of our hearts and things feel right. The, everything tends to fall into place. And so when we're not doing that, when we are immersed in have to, and for a lot of people, nine to five is the headquarters of have to. When we're immersed in have to, it's hard not to feel a little bit angry, a little bit upset, a little bit frustrated. All of those negative feelings can get wrapped up in that nine to five situation and it becomes very hard to feel thankful, appreciative, happy to have a job, happy to have a place to go, happy to be able to pay the bills, for example. But the thing is, on a certain level, you're not really mad at the job, you're mad at yourself for not being where you want to go yet. You know what I mean? You're not mad at the job, you're not happy instead about the fact that you're not yet writing the great American novel. You haven't yet uh, run away to join the circus. You haven't done whatever it is that that big idea that you want to get to. And so sometimes you can be so mad at yourself for not being there that you take it out on the place where you are, which is the job. Although truthfully, this can apply to a relationship. This can apply to all kinds of situations. But for a lot of people, like I said, it's the nine to five situation. So once again, you're not really mad at the job. You're mad at yourself for not being where you want to be. But here's the catch. The trick to getting where you want to go is by really being present where you are. Yeah, it's absolutely the case that the world is a better place when the people in it follow their passion. But what goes along with that is this. No more waiting. I don't want you to wait to be happy, to wait to be passionate, to wait to be honest. There's too many people holding back the truth about themselves. So yeah, it's a great idea to say, you know, someday I'm going to win the lottery or it's all going to work out and I'm going to take time and I'm going to write that book, I'm going to release that album, I'm going to make that art, I'm going to speak my truth. But here's the thing. The way to get there is to be passionate about where you are right now. Yeah, okay, so it's not where you want to end up, but here's the thing I always say. Nothing ever ends. When you get to a finish line, there's going to be another finish line. So better to really learn how to appreciate where you are. It's easy to, to love the big ideas. To love your creator, whatever you think about that. To love the people in your family. Those are easy things, but here's the tricky one. Love your right now. Love your situation. Love your work. It doesn't mean you've got to put up with it. It doesn't mean the thing that you do right now is the thing you're supposed to be doing for the rest of your life. But what it does mean is where you are right now. And like I said, this is about a job, but it could easily be about a relationship, about whatever you happen to find yourself in. But give that job your love. And that means give it all of your intensity. Give it all of your honesty. Give it the full fire of your focus. Give it all of your love. And you may find that you get better at it. You may find that things get better. You may find that you learn the things you need to learn in order to advance. You may also find that when you're really honest, <laughs> there's no room for you in that place because that place doesn't need your kind of honesty. In fact, you need to go somewhere else, but you won't know for sure. You won't get your walking papers or your promotion papers until you're honest. So ask yourself, how can you love your now? You begin to realize that, you know what, this job wasn't so bad. In fact, remember how happy you were when you got it? This job isn't so bad. The frustration that I find there is the frustration that I bring to it. And when I let go of that and I start being me, things can start to move around and you can start to move forward. Thank you for these amazing questions. Thank you for, for doing this with me. Thanks for watching these videos. So many people are sharing and subscribing to the videos lately. I'm just really bowled over. And once again, I can't thank you enough. And the special favor that I ask of you is go to my Facebook page, facebook.com slash Dieter Randolph, and click that like button. And while you're there, go ahead and share it with some other people too. Thanks a lot. Take care of yourself.